So today I'm going to show you how to make curried pigeon peas trini style. Now I know we have some of you all from abroad who used to live in Trinidad. This is one of me, one of your favorite dishes. Watch how fresh this pigeon peas is it. Eh? Um, this pigeon peas was freshly picked from my father's law land and was shelled and cleaned by my mother. -in -law. So I want to say a special thanks to Chandra Mohammed and Munir Mohammed who would have given me this freshly picked pigeon peas, which I'm going to show you how to cook today. Trini style curried. So, look, I have a parcel that I would have kept back here, which I'm going to make pilau for carnival. So, stay tuned to see how that I will show you how to make pilau for carnival Trini style. Now, I must say, the pilau that my wife and myself cook is very tasty so um after the water is uh, that has come to a boiling point or hot i'm going to add some sugar to the water and i'm going to let the pigeon peas boil for maybe between five to ten minutes so now that the um pigeon peas is um Boil uh, with a strain it and allow it to cool for a few minutes. How nice is it looking? It's eh? looking really delicious and fresh. Trinidad home style freshly picked pigeon peas. So now I'm going to show you how to make the curried pigeon peas. We're going to add in the aromatics into the oil that was heated. And some of the ground seasoning. I let it sort for a minute or two. Now you're adding in the curry powder. Now we're going to add in the freshly picked fish and peas and we're going to turn up them into the curry. Now this looks really delicious. Eh? And the aroma gets in here. Wow, it's mouth watering. We're going to add in some chopped pimento. And some water. And we'll turn up the same. And now we're going to add, add in some chopped edos.
now I'm, now I'm going to add in some salt to this. And we turn it off. So when everything is coated nicely with the curry and fried up, you will add the water and allow it to cook. Now that the um, pigeon peas and the edos is properly coated with the curry and fried up, I'm going to add some water. And usually why I add edos is because my grandmother used to um, add edos to the pigeon peas, which would definitely enhance the flavor and thicken it. But if you don't have edos, you can use potato. Now this is a great vegetarian dish also to it, but this dish can also be used with different curried meats and eaten with rice or roti as the case may be. So now we're going to add up some chopped shadow benny with cilantro and we're going to allow it to cook. Let's check on the peas. So as you can see, the adults is nice and soft. And the peas is also soft. And the dish is ready. So, there you have it. Curried pigeon peas HKR style. Now you see, as I always say, when you put love into something, it comes out perfect. Watch how much love was put into this pigeon peas and it come out perfect. So there you have it. Curried pigeon peas HKR style. You couldn't get it any better than this. So please remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and like and share all my videos. Stay blessed. Till next time. Bye.